While the Rugby World Cup continues this weekend, following Wales' fantastic win over England last Saturday, the Pro 12 returns when the Ospreys face Edinburgh at Murrayfield on Friday night. Join us now at Landarcy Academy of Sport as we look ahead to the game with Hanno Dirksen and Nicky Smith. Nicky, we've had a few weeks off since we lost to Munster at the Liberty Stadium. Back in action this weekend, you must be busting the gut to try and put things right after the disappointment against Munster. Yeah, not only the Munster game, but the Ulster game were two uh, disappointing results for us. Um, yeah, Ulster was at this point four months. Munster was better, but still, we still two of them two lo- losing. So yeah, we really are driving the goal. As a player and as a team, so perhaps there's two answers here. How do you cope with a three-week gap so early in the season? And how does that change how you train and prepare for the game coming up against Edinburgh? Um, I think it's a fight you're finding the right balance. So yeah, we did have a bit of time off, so we did yeah, a couple of boys that go away, you know, just to relax, you know, just to completely switch off from the rugby, but then we had a weekend conditioning, make sure we're getting back fit. And uh, this week now we're just more just getting the rugby building over to like I said, really need to get a good win. Edinburgh, we lost up there back in February. Always a difficult place to go and even with the World Cup on and with the course that they've got, they've got a strong squad of foreign players there as well, so they've got strength in depth. How do you prepare for that? What are you expecting? What are you looking for when you get there from us and from Edinburgh? Yeah, definitely last year was really disappointing up Edinburgh. You know, we, we pretty much got bullied up there. Uh, they got a big pack, physical, but also physical backs as well, who will get over the game line. So that's what we're expecting. We have a home crowd as well in Murrayfield, a big stadium. So we are really expecting them to be a physical outfit, but we've got a match drive, not better, and get our skills set right. It's important that we get the show on the road, albeit belatedly, because it's a long season, there's still 20 rounds to go, so there's everything to play for. Yeah, so like I said, it is this point in the way we started, but you know, we, there's no need to hit the panic button yet. We've got it's a long season ahead, but we do really do need to start running and start here in Edinburgh. The next home game for the Ospreys is against Connaught on Saturday the 24th of October. You can watch a game in style from one of our 8 or 10 seated executive boxes, with prices started from just £65 per person plus VAT. With panoramic views of the pitch and a player Q&A pre-match, all box holders can enjoy a special experience to remember. For more details call our hospitality team now on 01792 616 507. Don't forget, if you have a Rugby World Cup ticket for any match in the competition, and you can purchase a ticket for the Connacht game at half price. To redeem the offer, all you need to do is show your Rugby World Cup ticket at the ticket office at the time of purchase, and you can be watching the Ospreys versus Connacht for just £10. Hanno, Pro 12 returns this weekend, Edinburgh away. That's a tough match, as tough as it comes at this time of the year. Yeah, well, we the past couple of years we've gone up there and uh, we didn't get the result. Um, but playing in Murrayfield, I think uh, last time I played there we won, so um, it'll be a good, uh, good place to be. But um, we know it's a tough, also a tough place to uh, to travel up to. It's been a strange start to the season. A couple of defeats in the first two weeks, three weeks off by the time we get to Edinburgh. You know, you must be pretty pleased that focus is back on a game at the end of the week and you, you're not twiddling your thumbs at the weekend, you're actually looking and building up towards match day. Yeah, it's nice, uh, the boys are nice and fresh now for this this weekend. Uh, I think uh, we all gone over our roles good and hopefully we can put in a good performance and uh, get, get our first win of the season. What type of thing do you expect from an Edinburgh team? Is it the same thing every time you play them? Even though it's the World Cup and they're missing players, is that going to make much difference to what they're about? Yeah, everyone's missing players in the World Cup, but uh, you know it's the same same sort of team vibe. We know uh, every time we play them, it's really tough and uh, also a hard place to go. But um, yeah, they're going to be physical, and uh, we're going to go up there and try and match that and uh, hopefully come on top. In terms of putting that performance right after the defeat to Munster and the defeat to Ulster, what are the work ons? What do you think that we need to be putting right to be able to perform the best of our ability up in Murrayfield? I think we were we were um, a lot better against Munster. You know, we were winning towards the end of the game there, and just just last minute penalties. You know, 
that uh, that lets lets the other team in, into the game. So uh, hopefully we can cut down on that and um, not have so many turnovers and think we'll we'll, uh, we'll give them a good game. As a young man still yourself, you're probably in a strange position at the moment because at the Munster game with seven players involved, who 21 or under, two teenagers starting. So all of a sudden you find yourself as somebody who's been in the environment for five, six years now, one of the older heads. You know how does that impact on your own personal performance? Uh, when you're on the well, since I've played uh, rugby, I've always been the youngest. But when you're on the field, you don't really think about age. Age is just a number then. So, but uh, yeah, I guess it's a little bit of experience. But to, and on the game, on the day, you know, we got to come together as a team and just do the team team basics. And I think we'll uh, give give them a good game then. I think it's just a case of, as the coaches keep on repeating, everyone knows their roles, it's accurate, clinical, attention to detail, etc, etc. Who you are, how old you are, doesn't matter. Exactly, yeah, we just got to stick with, the, with our game plan and uh, trust, trust our game plan and uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be good. That's all for now. Don't forget, Ospreys v Connaught on Saturday the 24th of October at the Liberty Stadium. Tickets on sale now. Make sure you get yours and support the cause.